the box is like that, it just doesn't make sense. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. No. You know. Not everything is black and white. I mean, but you break that, you know, you're, you, 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 you shatter that, which is amazing. What do you mean, and shatter it how? Like, you're breaking these, these traditional, these rigid, stupid rules. And that's badass. You know, that you break the rules and, you, like, yeah, you do question what, like, like, it's like, what is it? What is normal? Your normal is bullshit. Like, I don't, like, it's not real, you know? Like, um, and people need to be woken up like that because I, like, because we need to have that diversity. Yeah, in I, our lives. I'm like a badass, you said? <laughs> well, like, I mean, and the thing is, like, if, if we, if we don't welcome that into our community, what does that say to kids who feel right. this way, right? Right. If we, don't, if we don't stand up and say this is wrong, like there's probably a child out there who, you know, who who is feeling this way and they're too afraid to come out. Right. Or they don't feel welcome or they don't feel safe. Well, we see, don't say like when I was a, like, well, your gender rules fucking suck. And what does that say to kids who feel this way? Well, you know? what I don't understand is when mothers and fathers have children and they spread hate crime towards other people and they hear that. They're not very good role models. Yeah, no, they're not, right? You know, no. and I, I feel sorry for them because they're they're bringing up their children this way, and they're not gonna learn any other way. No. You I know, I want to believe that the world is changing. You know, with the internet and with more education, and you know, I want to believe that the world is changing. Yeah, me you too. Know? It's just, it's just, it's just. Why don't everybody just wake up and grow up? You know? And let people be. Huh. It's just, it's just, it's just, I don't understand all this, all this, all this hate or dislike against people. I just don't understand it. You know, one woman came up to me and says, if, if, if some people give you a chance to get to know you, you know? I'm a lovely woman. I'm happy. I'm outgoing. I'm giving. Because everybody's precious and everybody just has one life to live. I'm really glad that, you know, that you can say that about yourself. Like, you know that about yourself. Like, you know who you are. Uh -huh. You know what you're really like. Right. And, like, you know, because some, some people, because some people can't even say nice things about themselves, you know? Well, I can, I can, I'm a legend. I can, I'm a badass and I'll, I'll stick up for anybody. You know? The, the, the most of the bus drivers out there love me. You know, because they, they, you know, they look at me like an ambassador. You know, because I serve the public. And that's what it is, the ambassador is all about, is to help people... No matter no matter what situation it is in or they're in. But I have a hard time to and accept that men can assault me or come to me and scare the hell out of me without me rebelling against them. You know, sometimes I feel like that. It's just like how dare you approach me like a man that I'm a woman and you're scaring the fuck out of me. You know? Like, yeah, sometimes I like to just friggin' say heck of it, man. You want to fucking fight? I'll fight you and you'll lose. You know? But in the same way that because I sue the cops, okay, men think they can have an advantage predatorizing me and coming up to me and assaulting me and the cops, they won't come and deal with it because, A, to them, I'm not a real woman, you know? So, therefore, that gives all the right for the abusers to abuse me, and that's not right. I think a, w a way that you could approach this is just to be very clear with the cops. I mean, like, you probably have been in the past and be like, this is my situation. Like, I get really scared 
when people come up to me and they say things, and it turns me into this really hard person that I don't want to be, but it comes from this place of fear of, like, people approach me and they say things that are mean, or I feel like I'm in danger, and so I feel like I have to defend myself, and I feel like I'm being discriminated against. Well, that... And, I... and to, you probably have said that the cops and stuff like that, but, like, um, it's just one of those things of, like, listen, this is the special reasons why I need your help or I need your protection is because, and, like, why I get so riled up is because I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm in danger, you know? Yeah, but they don't, they don't really look at it that way, you know? And the men out there, they see that, so they take an advantage over the cops not helping me and so therefore they had think they have the right to abuse me in any way they want to so therefore were you able to leave a message with mel's office at least no i haven't even gone down to mel's office but um i might be going down there monday but besides the point it's just it's just it's just i have nowhere to turn I think Mel would be a good a good place to turn because what you could do is like well first I, it's always best that you set an appointment with Mel's office and you can what you can probably say to like someone like Mel is like listen this is my situation like I'm in the streets and stuff like that and I feel like I feel in danger because um, people harass me in the street because I identify as a woman yeah and, or I am a woman uh huh. And, uh, and I don't feel like the cops understand this issue. And if we can somehow find a way to make it safer for me and other people, you know, can we somehow work with the police to, for this not for, for community safety? And you brought this up when Mel was being elected of like you wanted improvements on community safety. Right. Community safety is supposed to be number one. And that's why I'm Roller Girl Vancouver. You know, yeah. because so, you only have. Talk to Mel about stuff like that. Um, what I would suggest is one, set an appointment with at, with her office, and then two, um, come up with like a small list, like maybe three points that you want to talk about. So one, you're like one, I face harassment in the street from men, and it and I feel like I'm in danger, and so sometimes I feel like I have to defend myself when I shouldn't have to be. Right. And two, and uh, and two. When I when I ask for help from police or from other people, I don't feel like I'm getting what I need, or I don't feel like the cops understand this issue. And right. They don't take me seriously. I think they're. So maybe. You know, so I, I mean, it's coming when you when you go and talk to people who have that power to maybe change the police mind or help out with police training. It's important to go into those meetings with your main points of like, this is what my problem is. Right. And this is how I want you guys to change it. So. With the issue around police, it would be like, it would be like going into Mel's being like, when I feel like I'm in danger from street harassment and the cops haven't been helpful, what I want is for the cops to understand why I need help and why my circumstances are different from the, uh, the other everyday person. Mm -hmm. And so, like, can you help with the training them or can you help them understand my situation? And, well, and then see, when I, last time I got, I got sort of a fraudly charged, right? This guy pushed me on the bus, right? And I grabbed him right by his throat, right? And so, therefore, I went for fingerprints and la, 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 la. I went to court, and the, and, and, and the Crown says the, the Crown says that the charges wasn't even approved, right? So, therefore, if it wasn't approved, so why, why was I served papers by the cops? You know, so, and then therefore I went down there and uh, the whatever trans right this man this 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 uh, sergeant says well you could be both genders and I said excuse me. No, this is you know who you are and like what you and you're you you identify as a woman. You're like I'm a woman. Like I, you don't he doesn't get to pick. You get to pick. You right. Well, what what he said to me is like I could be a man or a woman, and is like, excuse me. What the fuck, you know? Yeah. And and this and this cop here, he's trying to help trans women like me, right? Like he's supposed yeah. to be one of the counselors, right? 
bullshit. You don't yeah, choose you who I am. You just cut the cops. They just don't get it. And I don't think they'll ever, ever get it. Well, I mean, Mel's office would be a great place to start. I mean, what you have to do is you have to call and set an appointment. Uh-huh. Um, I, and and then, I, I, like I said, you know, go in with your main points that are about community safety. Right. I feel, I feel that I have no rights. Well, you're not being protected by public services. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not being protected by the public services or even my manager at 801 East Sixth Avenue. I'm not being protected by her either. Okay. You know, it's it's total. It's you know, I'm getting it. I'm getting it every every direction. And how do I sustain all this? You know, it's really, really, really hard. Well, how about this? Um, I'm going to be studying for finals a lot this week. Uh And chances are I'll probably be down in the Main Street area. Um, How about this? On Monday, you give Mel's office a call, see what day you can set up an appointment. Uh And I'd be willing to, like, you know, in between some study time, I wouldn't mind helping you write out some of your main points for Uh that meeting. Okay, okay, Groovy. I'm having this whole conversation. You, I'm gonna. I'm having this whole conversation taped. Okay. So I'm going to 